I'm trying to catch a sea monster, bro. A sea monster? I'm not even playing like that. So first, we're gonna start off by beating the bank a little bit, but we got Correct. a new tool of the trade. And how about, how, how, I'll just show him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Give him. Look at that. You guys see this? He's got one. I got one. We are more than official now. It is a pain in the butt trying to figure out how to get the transducer to go through the hole. We believe there are some succulent bass way down in the deepest of deep holes in this quarry. It's a quarry. So, beating the bank first. Beating the bank. Then we're gonna meet up. We're gonna try to give it a dangle and see if we can find some deep fish. When it gets cold, that's where they go, so. I say we don't do this anymore. I think we go fishing, bro. Full wang dang of peeps. Let's get it, dude. Oh, I'm seeing fish all right here. Let's see. Yeah, there's like a whole school of fish. It's not saying that it's bass. It's probably just a bunch of shad or a school of brim, something like that. See that? All right there. We're in six to eight foot of water right now. 6.8 foot, seven foot of water right now. 53.9 is the temperature. I think I got a fish, y'all. I got him. I got him. Oh my goodness. Dude, that was quick. Oh, there we go, people. There we go. Y'all seen it. I was telling you guys that there was a school of fish right below us on the depth finder. And what do you know? I got this fish right after that. It's not a bad one. This fish is freezing cold. I got it on this black shaky head with a ribbon tail worm on it. Right there, spot remover. <laughs> I guess we're gonna let this guy go and see if we can get a couple more. That's not bad though. Five minutes in, right? About five minutes. Let's go. Scott Martin patented release, bro. Alright. Ah! Ah! Fail. I got a I got a fin stuck in my finger, dude. And I'm bleeding. Hey people, we almost forgot when we filmed this intro. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't, I swear I'm gonna take you to Christmas, buy you a 24 pack of burgers, and only give you one of them. Definitely having these depth finders is gonna be a key to finding fish today. You're gonna always be able to find a couple fish roaming on the bank, especially when it's sunny. They'll try to move up it if the water's getting warm or there's rocks getting warm, and just sit there in that hole because what happens is the water turns and the warmer part of the water in the winter time is gonna be closer to the bottom. And in the summertime, the colder part of the water is gonna be close to the bottom. Yo, I think I got a fish on. It's actually a good one. Yo! It's actually a decent fish. Sucker is not giving up either. It's so awesome when this water turns this color this time of year because you can see that fish down there fighting you the whole time. Come on, buddy. Dang, this thing's got some strength to it. Come on. Boom. It's a good one right there, y'all. 11 foot of water on the depth finder. Seen a log and backed up a little bit, casted at it. Felt like a hard took. That guy had it. But we can get him back in the water and keep fishing. Hopefully we catch some other ones. That's a good fish right there, bro. Let's get back to the grind, son. I'm betting that there's gonna be fish on this. We can literally go anywhere in here. We got all day. Sun don't go down for a while, brother. I'm just saying I caught my fish on wood. I'm picking up fish in the middle between the top and the bottom. Do you ever get up to the bait after it's been snagged and then you just sit there and you look at it and you're like, no, that was no way that was coming off. Oh, I gotta change my bait up, man. This is not working. I got it, dude. Junebug Mondo Worm. All right, y'all, we got a fish here. Here we go. Oh, the bale's too loose. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy cow. It's bigging. It's bigging. Oh, my God, dude. Dude. It's a bigging. Dude, come here, baby. Come on. Don't get off. Don't get off. All right, y'all. I know you heard me freak out way over there. And that was because I thought this fish was a lot bigger than he is. He's still like a high three. But you got to think, when this fish is in the water, that water magnifies the fish. So I thought this fish was like a six or a seven. So I was freaking out. Oh, my God. But hey, right here, 
the top of the mouth that's like a bright pink purple and reddish color and that's the sign that the fish is actually feeding off the bottom and that's what they do in the winter time they go straight down to the bottom and then they just chill down there until the water warms up into a better time of year and then they move over to the shallow and they lay them eggs so hey I'm gonna let this guy go and I know there's more fish in here to get caught so. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, we were talking, messing around. I just hooked into a good fish, like with a like a phantom cast. Like just just casting the cast. Well that's gonna be a mess, bro. <laughs> Come on in. All right, y'all, look at that. Another eclectic beast. We figured it out. Threw in a deep hole, we came over that a minute ago. Guess how deep, 11 foot. Walker caught one, 11 foot. I caught one, 12 foot. The last one you caught, 12 foot. So I think we figured out a pattern. We're gonna go look for 12 foot water, I think is what we need to do, bro. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go catch some more fish. Hopefully a Mondo Mondo for real, bro. Hey, again, I know we mentioned it in one of the last videos, but if you want to support the Yak crew and uh, got these hoodies made, we showed them off in the last video. And actually, One Bass West is screen printing now. He did them for us. And we're not trying to sell them to make money. We basically break even to sell them. But if anybody's interested in like a shirt similar to this design or a hoodie, let us know. We might be able to make it happen. Back ahead for the ages. What is going on today? I don't get it. They're hungry today. I like it. I like it a lot. Another pecker head right here. That's the smallest one of the day, but hey, guess what? 10 foot of water, I believe, on that one. So. <laughs> you kidding me? No way. No freaking way. Deep water, son. Deep water. We're learning too. That's what's cool about this. It's always cool when you learn on the dangle. Me and Walker are learning a different style of fishing and figuring it out, which I think is awesome. Dude. Get this guy back in the water and uh, see if we can catch some more. I wonder if there's something about this little hole behind me. How many fish is that? Six? Five? That's six fish, right? I have a feeling about that little hole behind us, bro, for some reason. Where'd you catch the uh, the big one at? That hole? So we caught three fish out of the same hole. Hold that thought, homie. Shaky head, dog. Well, I know that, but what trick one? Dude, this is a pretty good one. Boom. It's a good fish, y'all. It's insane. Like, we've been tearing, like, every time we want to talk to you guys or inform you guys or something, one of us is setting the hooks. I'm going to get this guy back so we can continue just jacking these fish up. But, hey, that's another good one right there, bro. Dude, I think we only got one last thing we can possibly do right now. Are you sure you want to waste this call on today? I, I mean, don't know what else we can do, man. The fish right. turned off and they're off. I don't know what fine, else to do. Fine, you got it. We're going to have to call somebody. Hey, this is Cal. Yeah, hey, Honcho, I know I only get like two calls per year, man, but like the fish stopped biting. Like, we're, we're curious if you can help us out. Listen, I got to tell you something, man. It's real heavy, but I got to tell you, man, last summer when you was away at that summer camp, I did a whole spread for Playboy. Full spread, man. I, I mean, I spread my butt cheeks and everything. I spread my butt cheeks as Mike Honcho, man. 
Oh, you, dude, he hung up on me, man. What? Well, I guess that's one call wasted. You know he stays busy, though. But... Hey, I guess we know he spread his butt cheeks again, though. <laughs> this time of year, man, a lot of pros talk about it. Like, these fish get, because the water's so cold, they get in what they call windows. And it's like they'll be on for a, a part of time. We know about them and then windows. shut down like that. They were on, like, every cast, and now it's been over an hour. Hey, I'm not complaining. Nah, definitely first. January, I think it's about as good as you can possibly get. I say we try to go down there and see what happens. If not, man, you know, it is what it is. Hey, somebody's coming. Game warden. Game warden where? Yeah, game warden. Right there? Yeah. We're coming. Like the last thing I expected you to say is you were a game warden. What's going on, man? We've been fishing this place for like three years now. We don't take any fish out. All we do is film YouTube videos in here and never had any problems. Oh, really? There's nobody back here and uh, if you catch anybody, they want to prosecute it. So, so what's that mean for us today? It means you both are going to get citations for fishing without permission. Okay. I mean, we didn't know any better though. Like, there's no signs or anything posted. Is like, there anything that says that this is public fishing? I, I'm not trying to argue with you, and I do respect that you are the law. I get that. I do. But it looks just like a pond. And like, yeah. did you see any signs coming in? You know what I'm saying? But this is also, I mean, it's a pond. It's a private pond. Yes, sir. I understand. Not... Come up here. Y'all got your IDs on you. I do. I want to give you a heads up though. My buddy over here. He's half deaf, so when you're speaking to him, he's got to be able to read your lips, and you got to okay. be loud. Sign language or anything? No, he can hear, but you've got to be looking at him. He, hey, he wants us out of the water. ID. Oh, okay. Did you look when you were coming out there? Like, no signs, no fence? No. What I did, I wrote you both citation for fishing without permission. Uh, you have a court date in Evans at Columbia County Courthouse of February 26th at 9 o'clock. There's a phone number right here on the citation that you can call. They'll tell you what the fine is and how to pay it. If you don't want to pay the fine and you want to contest the citation, let them know and they'll assign a court date. And they'll yes, subpoena sir. me and they'll subpoena you guys and we'll all show up and we can discuss it at court. Well, sorry we had you walking through the woods and all that uh, stuff. That's okay, I was doing it somewhere else today. Yours. What's the note say down here? Uh, affidavit on file. Uh, okay. Um, if you got any other buddies that fish over here, let them know. Okay? Dude, there's all kinds of people that come in this pond, man. Yep, I figured it. I figured it. So, and there were people who were coming down here and hunting too that ain't supposed to be in here hunting, and we've gotten them too. So, all right. If you got any questions, feel free to uh, give the office a call, and I can answer them, or um, I'll get a court date. You'll get a court date if you wanted to uh, contest it at court. So, all right. All right. So, just if we actually were to show up at court and tell them that no signs posted. There's no fence. What's gonna happen? I have no clue. I mean, that's. It's up I mean, to I, the judge. I'm cool with you writing me a ticket, man. I get you're doing your job. I'm just trying to understand, like. Right. Well. I could see somebody telling us not to be here, and like knowing who we were, coming back and seeing us in here again. But I just feel like it's a little harsh. That it's gone to this, right. and there's, there's well, literally and nothing. That's, that's why. That's why you get a chance to contest it in court. I got you. That route, so. All right, guys. Have a good evening. All right. We uh, we got elected to get some really hefty uh, tickets right here. You know what? I'm not going to tell you how much it cost. I don't after. think we should talk about how much it cost. Yeah, we shouldn't talk about how we much it cost. We literally called right when we got in the truck, and I was thinking like $20. No. Oh, it's way. It's, it ain't no $20. We're a little sour but about it right now. We weren't in a spot that had any trespassing signs or no fences around it and we've never been talked to and before no warnings no nothing this guy took it upon himself to say hey look i know you're innocent but you know what let's uh let's write you these tickets let me tell you something about law enforcement always be respectful and if you're in the wrong you're in the wrong own up to it it's okay everybody makes mistakes we made a mistake that we didn't know we were making he even said you know as we were leaving we said hey did you see any signs and he said no i didn't look you know what I yeah. mean? Like he said that. Like what? But it's okay. We didn't know we were breaking the law. We it's don't all good. advocate breaking the law for it's the most the part. Time. Yeah, for the most part. It's not the first time. It probably won't be the last, but this is probably the one that stung the most. When you don't know any better though, man. I mean it's that like and it's more like I really, really gonna miss that spot. Yeah. That's one of my favorite places that we have. Me too. And There's been some big fish caught in there. Unfortunately that'll be the last time we ever go in there. Rip Cory Pond video? Do you guys wanna see it? If Leave you it do, in the comments, bro. Comments? But hey, 
Uh, it's getting dark. We're in the middle of a parking lot right now because we had to get a margarita after that. We're going to go ahead and catch you on the next one. So don't you ever forget to hit that like button. Make sure that you share. And subscribe. And definitely leave a comment. And I was serious about the Rip Quarry Bomb. We got a lot of footage from that place. If you want to see some of the most epic memories in there, leave a comment. Don't break the law. Always do the right thing. We'll see you guys on the next one, guys.